ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here at the fourth annual Conspiracy Con 2004 Memorial Day weekend. Appreciate that you're here. Most of you were here this morning when I made a few announcements about how many of our presenters are solution oriented. And the person you're about to see is just such a person. He is going to be provided with a introduction uh, honored today by Jordan Maxwell, an uh, associate and friend of ours here at the conference. And uh, again about solutions. Look at that symbol right there. Um, might look a little bit familiar. And uh, I don't use that symbol by accident and neither is our next presenter. Uh, who is also an associate and good friend of Jordan Maxwell. Jordan, some of you know, has spoken at this event and others like it. And I thought it would be appropriate for Jordan to provide a little bit of a, a hidden history lesson as to what has happened to our country, what has happened to this planet, what has happened to our legal system, our financial system. He is um, very knowledgeable about secret societies, symbolism, fraternal orders, all the things and elements and groups that are behind what has happened. And I couldn't think of anybody better to introduce our next guest. So without further ado, please give a warm welcome to Jordan Maxwell. He will be up here for about 15 minutes. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you. First of all, I want to thank you all for being here with us today. Um, a lot of kind words have been said about me, but I want to clarify a few things. I'm not the world's foremost authority on anything. I never have been, I'm not now, nor will I ever be. I'm too smart for that. <laughs> <laughs> because I know how much I don't know. And I'm learning every day that I live, the world keeps opening up larger and larger. And I started this um, escapade back in 1959. I started talking to audiences in 1962 about secret societies, the New World Order, occultism, and it was in 1966 that Anthony J. Hilder produced his first record set with Myron Fagan on Illuminati. And it was Anthony J. Hilder and Myron Fagan who introduced into American society the idea of secret societies and Illuminati. So when you hear the concept being discussed by anyone of secret societies, and especially that word Illuminati, remember it was Anthony J. Hilder who introduced it and the man who talked about it, Anthony, actually produced the records. And it was Myron Fagan, a very important man that you need to know about, who's no longer with us. Myron Fagan, Myron Fagan was the man who introduced the idea of Illuminati. As I said, I was talking about these subjects back in 1962, before most of the people who now talk about it were even still in school. So consequently, I've... Um, I've looked at many different areas of conspiracy since that time, and I'm appalled at uh, what I see happening in this country today. We are told that America is the land of laws, a nation built on laws. In point of fact, nothing could be further from the truth. America is run by people who are lawless. We have no law in America. And understand that. The law is whatever the powers that be in power happen to say it is today. Whatever they say it is, that's what the law is today. And it may change tomorrow. So what you need to understand is this is not a nation of laws. It's a nation of lawlessness. And somewhere along the line, we're going to be dealt with by that universal God force because of what we have allowed to happen in our country. Now in relation to the subject today, which is the occult world of commerce, 
Let me give you a couple of examples of why I think where you need to start thinking. If you uh, are going to send a box through the mail and you need to wrap it with some rope, you go out in the garage and you find some, some rope and tie up the box and that should be sufficient to do the mailing. But if you're going to take that rope out to the edge of a 10-story building and hang on it, you better trust and you better examine the integrity of that rope now because your life hangs in the balance on it. Another example is if you owned a two-story building and you were going to put a lot of weight on the second floor. If you were, if you were smart, you would go downstairs first with the structural engineer, get on a ladder and go up through the ceiling tiles and examine the floor that you're going to put that weight on to see if the floor is going to hold that kind of weight. So what you're doing is you are standing under the foundation you're going to build on. You're standing under to get understanding because that's where the word understand comes from. To stand under the foundation that you're building on. <clears throat> Understanding words is what you really need to start doing. You need to start doing your homework and understanding words. If you put an S in front of words, it becomes swords. And that's what words are. They are cutting. They can cause you great trouble. Humans are word control creatures. So we need to establish what words mean. Again, when we talk about law, there's a Roman maximum in law that says, for he that would be deceived, let him. Simply meaning, if you are so ignorant as to be deceived, then that's your business, that's your problem. So you need to do your homework and find out what the words mean especially in relation to law and government because there is a whole a world of occultism